Good Monday Makers. In this week's episode, we're looking at a trellis update from last year, a shul, custom sewing machine workshop tables, backdrops for a dance production, a combination trellis and shade structure, as well as a chicken run divider. A lot of great projects and cool things incorporated into them. Let's jump in and check them out. First up is the trellis update from Joseph. Now last year, Joseph shared this original design for his trellis. And as you can see here, he modeled out this archway trellis that was gonna go between two garden beds. And then he shared the update, which was his completed uh, trellis. And it's a really awesome trellis idea if you have garden beds spaced apart like this. This is a great way to get a solid trellis for both of them and then create kind of a cool archway that you can walk under. And then once the plants start growing, they'll grab onto the trellising and create this really interesting walkway. And that's what the update is. He shared just the other day, this is the update. He said his plants are climbing on the trellis and they're doing great and it looks like they're loving it. So that's just really cool. I wanted to share that because not often that we get to see an update like this of the plants actually growing on the trellis. We usually see you know, right after somebody finishes their build, their trellis, and we don't really get to see the plants attached yet. But this is a cool update from Joseph that he shared from his build from last year. Really awesome to see. Thanks so much, Joseph, for sharing that. Next up is a shul created by Barr for the Shavuot holiday. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. I apologize. Uh, but it said it's a really simple build. It was a wow how nice and clean the canopy with flowers can be made. So you can see here, this is a really uh, common kind of canopy structure that we see. It's just a square rectangle shape. And they did that by doing four 90 degree connectors in the corners and just kind of created the, the base structure. Then it looks like there is some cross pipes with T connectors there going from side to side. And they just added some fabric and some flowers up there secure. I would imagine there's probably like a stem or something coming out of the bottom of the, that kind of plate there that goes down the conduit uh, or some way to secure it. But that's a really great build. Thanks so much for sharing that bar. Really awesome to see. Next up are these workshop tables from Yule. So apparently there's a plant that they work at and there's some sewing machine tables. They need them to be custom kind of to the work area. And this is what they came up with. And it looks really awesome. And what's really cool about this is they have the, the table here with the with the sewing machines kind of sitting flush in the table, as you can see here, which is a really smart way to do that. And I believe it's it basically made this kind of U-shaped framework that sits around the sewing machine table. And it just added some extra workspace or work area to the sewing machine table that already existed. And then they said they needed to add an extension every once in a while that in case the product they're working on, you know, is bigger, they can add this extension to it. And they did that with a hack we recently talked about on the channel, which was a puzzle piece connector with a one hole strap. And this allowed them, they have one here on this pipe, as you can see, and then one back here on this other one. And basically what that allows them to do is just add this extension, just kind of snap it in place, and then it's secured, and then you can easily just pop it off and move this extension out of the way if you, you know, whenever they don't need it, which is a really cool hack to incorporate to be able to, to kind of add even more work area whenever you're working on larger things. So that's really awesome. It's really cool to see that hack being utilized for something like this. Really appreciate you sharing this, Yule. Next up is a build from Jacob, and this is actually a few builds. Uh, so apparently they had a small dance production, and they ordered some printed curtains, as you can see here and they expected to be able to hang them from the ceiling uh, and just kind of you know secure them at the top and then let them just hang loose and drape. But apparently the ceiling was too high, so they had to come up with something pretty quickly that would allow them to create the backdrop for the dance production here, as you can see. And they said that they found some stands for this kind of thing, but they're kind of geared towards trade shows, and apparently they're super expensive. So what they did was they created some stands using maker pipe and three quarter inch EMT conduit. Just very simple, just a very rect, you know, just a very simple rectangle shape. And it looks like they use 45 degree bracing in the corners. Then they just created these legs here using a couple of T connectors. And then they just, it looks like maybe they just loosen them a little bit and then kind of flat pack them. And then they can easily deploy them and then the legs, you know, sit. Uh, long ways and perpendicular with the vertical pipes just to give it a nice secure base and it looks really great and then here we can see the final build they've got the fabric on there and it looks like dance production went great so that's really awesome thanks so much jacob for sharing that really cool to see next up is a combination trellis and shade structure from carol and she said that she made this so the shade cloth can be used as a cover or pushed out of the way when it's not needed and there's actually a couple of hacks to, that they incorporated in here that i want to showcase but here's kind of an overview of all of the trellis beds or all the trellises on the raised beds. You can see it looks like there's three res raised beds in the design. It's really simple. 
A really great design. It's just four verticals attached to the raised garden bed. We can see here that they used one hole strap secured to the raised bed to uh, secure the, the vertical post, which is a, a really smart way to do that, really easy to do. And then at the top, it looks like 90 degree connectors in the corners, and that just creates this rectangular structure that you can then trellis off of. And then it looks like there's T connectors that they use to create these side braces that just go from side to side. And then from, it looks like that same design is on all three raised beds. Then we can see here that she did some cross pipes using T connectors that go from one trellis to the other trellis to the other bed. And then by doing that, it just kind of braces the whole entire trellis, uh, trellis all three trellises together and just gives them all a nice, uh, you know, solid structure. And then that allowed her to then add the shade cloth over top of all three trellises. And it goes over top of the walkway, over top of all the garden beds. And then what's really cool here is the hack that she did. Uh, these these are shower curtain hooks. And these are kind of interesting because normally you'd probably imagine the just the S hooks, the really inexpensive ones. But she got these shower curtain hooks that actually clip or kind of clamp together and have a really solid fit. So they're not just going to fall off. And with this, and, that, and you can see that it has rollers on here as well. So what that means is she can then easily just slide, just probably grab, you know, the first one here and then just, you know, roll down the rollers all the way down. And that will just, the shade cloth will just follow all the way down and then kind of scrunch up at the end there. And then that allows her to have this open, so you can see there it is, it's all scrunched up at the very end. Now she's got an open cover if she wants it and then she can easily just grab onto it and then roll it back if she wants to. And then you can see here that she's got the arbor ropes or the trellising attached to the cross pipes. And it looks like she even did some wire from one pipe all the way to the other side. And then she's got some trellising attached to those wires. So a couple of great hacks, a really great build from Carol. Thanks so much for sharing that. Really awesome to see. Next up is a build from Beati. And this is a, a chicken run divider or partition, we could say. And what's really cool here is she shared a video of her build. So let's check this out. It's sideways, but it's okay. I'll, so I'll put it up project. back up here I, so we can um, see it normally, uh, you know, laid out it looks very widescreen. Nice and very clean. My little backyard now. I still have to do a few little follow-up things, but I want to point out some improvements over the previous version. So I used the uh, latch lock that others already suggested. That's cool. It's just a standard uh, latch that you can get. And it's just secured there. We're using just a couple of probably self-tapping screws, or maybe just normal normal screws through the latch into the conduit. I uh, painted it black. Not perfect, but it's done. I painted the whole pipe black, but unfortunately afterwards. So, <laughs> of course, here all my um, connections. The one thing I learned, though, is when I made my design, I used the through-wall fittings, the structural pipe fittings. Oh, yeah, the here. 180s there. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to match them with T fittings and that does not work because the size is different. So I had to go and reorder additional um, structural fittings, um, which luckily quick warehouse turnaround saved my project. The second thing I wanted to show is where am I gonna, uh, I might have to show this separately is how my brother actually anchored this in the ground. Oh yeah, I think she shared some photos this. of this. We'll look um, at it in a second. A picture of it there is a little spike in the ground how we anchor these pipes in it which is uh, different from what other people might do but it's actually a pretty good solution anyway i do that separately thanks so much for all the great ideas and this is looking great oh by the way yeah this is the old um also aluminum oh nice um painted black take care awesome that's really cool you guys should share more videos of your builds like that it'd be really awesome to do make a pipe monday uh, where you guys like walk around and show your builds like that. Really cool. Thanks so much for sharing the video of that. She made that chicken partition and it looks really great. And you can see she used some different connectors. There's some 180s and some T connectors there. And then I think I saw some ball bungees and zip ties holding the fencing onto the pipes. And then here's the hack she was talking about. Looks like they just uh, maybe dug a small hole. Well, I guess they didn't really dig a hole, but probably use some large diameter piping, maybe like an inch and a quarter of conduit. We saw somebody do that last week in last week's episode. Uh, they just dug a little bit out or just probably hammered like a larger diameter pipe in the ground and that allowed them to gen, then just slide the pipe into that for the whole framework and that just gives it a nice uh you know kind of anchor in the ground is a good word for it and then it looks like this is maybe uh 
maybe Randy's hack from a long time ago. I'll show it on screen. Where basically, you squish the end of conduit so it goes inside of the connector and then goes up a little bit farther in the connector and then drill a hole here. And the bolt for the connector actually goes through the conduit as well. And that just adds a lot of pullout strength. I don't know if that's what they were doing here, but maybe so. Uh, if, if not, still something to keep in mind. It's a great hack. This is a really great project and really cool to see the video. You guys should definitely, whenever you're sharing your builds, if you want to do a quick video like that where you walk around and show it, that'd be really awesome to see and, and show more of in these episodes. But that's all the projects I have for you this week. Thanks everybody for sharing your builds and creations. We love seeing all the cool things that you guys do with Conduit and Maker Pipe and other materials. If you want to see uh, the, the builds in more detail, they'll all be linked down below so you can check them out there. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next video.